Uh, I was with my dad, my grandpa, my mom. I mean, it was just, it's always been a family thing for us, you know. Roaches, there's only a couple of things you do. One is fishing, two is hunting, three is cutting wood. So <laughs> to get out of cutting wood, I was always opting for the hunting and fishing portion. But no, my dad always took me fishing ever since I've been a little kid. And um, it's just, uh, it's, it's in my blood, it's my passion, it's who I am. Uh, I'm not like a banana in the boat guy or anything like that, but um, yeah, certainly, um, you know, before a tournament or uh, any type of big fishing event, um, I'm always, uh, I go through the same routine of, you know, cleaning out my boat, going through my line, you know, dotting the I's, crossing the T's, I've always done that, and uh, maybe it's just because I'm excited about that event, but, uh, you know, Honestly, it's it's just like a ritual that I do, and um, it's 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 something that I've done since I've been a young guy when I first started fishing tournaments. But it's cleaning the boat, getting it ready, getting the rods ready, so I'm I've got everything where I need it to be and where I want it to be. It's a lot of things in fishing, you know, a lot of new techniques that you try. Um, I always tell anglers that you the way to get confident in, in a certain fishing technique is by doing it and catching fish and being successful. And um, there's just so many new techniques for a lot of different species. I fish everything from walleyes to smallmouth to panfish to muskies. And um, I find challenging aspects in a lot of different techniques. And when and where to use them uh, is often where other str anglers struggle. And um, you know, there's just a lot of work that goes into it. So um, I. I if I'm going to cite one example, for sure it would be like um, trolling, you know, uh, mastering trolling. There's anglers that are just masters at trolling. Well, for me, I grew up in northern Minnesota where we did a lot of casting, did a lot of live bait fishing, a lot of plastics fishing, you know, just a lot of pitching. So I've always been really proficient at that, but it took me a long time to get trolling down because there was speeds, there was accuracy, there was depth charts. Um, and really I just became a student of trolling and I spent a lot of time doing it and I got really confident at doing it. And it's regardless if you're trolling lead core line for walleyes or flat line trolling with, with braid, um, I get confident in it by catching fish and spending a lot of time doing it and experimenting with baits and really categorizing um, baits how they run. I follow depth curves. And so I did it kind of like a student, and um, I do that a lot with a lot of different techniques. You know, there'll be a new technique out there that I want to try, and I'm very, um, I think about it a lot, and I'm very, um, you know, I, I study it a lot. So I'll, I'll go out and do it a lot, and I, you know, get proficient at it and get comfortable doing it. And then you find that it, there's a lot of crossover between species. So you'll get really proficient at, let's say, uh, casting jerk baits, and then you find out it's not only good for smallmouth, you're catching a lot of largemouth and a lot of walleyes and a lot of pike and so that um, leads into fishing swim baits in that same mannerism and so um, that's kind of how I go about attacking you know different techniques but I think about it a lot I wake up in the middle of the night and write stuff down sometimes but um, maybe it's, that's just who I am <laughs> well I made a lot of mistakes um, but you learn from your mistakes and sometimes your mistakes turn into something, uh, uh, have effects that, that you weren't expecting. You know, I've had things where, you know, I was bass fishing, for example, and all of a sudden I started catching a lot of walleyes. And uh, so those, those mistakes really helped me out uh, in, in being a better multi-species angler. Uh, but one advice I can give people is, you know, I watch a ton of YouTube videos, I see a ton of videos, anglers are teaching other anglers, it's so awesome, you've got lots of different techniques that you can learn about on your screen, but really going out there and doing it um, and, and getting proficient at that specific technique, um, I, I can't stress about putting time on the water, you know. I can learn a lot of different techniques by watching YouTube, but where I get really skillful and masterful at it is by spending a ton of time on the water because you fish all season long, there's different weather elements that play into that factor, the bite changes, and um, just when you start building that instinctive um, angler in you where you know what to do in different situations, that's when you really start to take off as an angler. And that's 
for me, what drives me is patterning fish and, and figuring them out on a day-to-day -day basis and uh, really getting proficient at, at certain things. Learning it first and studying it, and it's okay to you know go back and reference things, but really spending a ton of time on the water, that's gonna help anglers.